We see with our hearts and love with our eyes in a 2020 prison lasting over a prize. What's going on, y'all? Mad Dad is back up in this mad den with the No Money Madman here to talk about Madden 20. Yes, we are made it to Tuesday. Team of the Weeks, guys. You guys know Team of the Weeks is coming. The Teams of the Weeks. <laughs> anyway, if you're new to this channel, guys, please subscribe. I'm trying to get 200 subscribers down below. I'm getting so close. I really appreciate all the support. Hit the like button, please. Hit the subscribe button down below. I have my Twitch and my Twitter. Go follow those as well. Be part of this Mad Dad community. I also have a training point spreadsheet down there that's updated daily for the hottest deals on training in this crazy market land. Just hit that spreadsheet. Welcome to the Mad Dad community. You are a mad man to be here. Yes, so I have the No Money Mad Men with me today. We're gonna need them because guess who's coming today? They, they leaked it last night, or yesterday I should say, somewhere in time yesterday. Lamar Jackson. Here we're looking at that Lamar Jackson. He's got 90 speed. He's, um, he's going to be pretty fast, like a fast uh, right-handed Vic, you know, so his, thro his throwing stats aren't the best. He's got the, I think it was at like 86 maybe deep accuracy, 82 short, 84 mid. His throwing power looks all right. Um, his throwing the run is going to be great, I'm, sh I'm assuming. But again, his throwing stats are not going to be the best, guys. So if you're a mobile quarterback lover like a Michael Vick lover, but like a right-handed quarterback, Lamar Jackson's for you. If you're a Ravens fan, Lamar Jackson's for you. If you got like the guy that likes to throw dots, you know, from the pocket, move around a little bit, Lamar is not for you. But it's good for the game. It's good for everyone. It's gonna be excited for that card tomorrow. Again, people are gonna be trying to build these sets, so those team of the week cards tomorrow are gonna probably be crazy. But it shouldn't affect the rest of the market too much, guys. The market's steadily increasing a little bit if you've been paying attention. So you can go ahead and start selling some of those cards you sniped over the weekend. I know I've been doing it. As you can see now I've got over 400k and slowly selling back the ones that as I watched the market rise. So if you can follow my channel and follow my advice, guys, you should be doing just fine right now. So who's the defensive player going to be today, guys? Like we asked for some guesses yesterday. I know we have Mosley got some guesses. Sherman got some guesses from me primarily. But, um, you know, one of those Patriots might, be, might get one tomorrow. You know, the Vikings also had a really good day. Um, so one of the Vikings might be tomorrow as well. So, um, or today, why am I saying tomorrow? For today as well. But um, you guys go ahead and go after these cards if you want to do the Team of the Week. And just do not forget to do your Team of the Week solos on your farm account and on your regular accounts. You can get two tokens. Maybe you're going to do it on two accounts. That's just fine. Again, I tell you, you'll thank me at the end of the year when you're getting two Team of the Year players with those tokens and not just one, one that you can sell, one that you can trade over for training. It's just good to have two of those players who are the best cards in the game at that time on your team. So, the, the question is, are we still gonna get our regular drops, our regular heavyweights, our regular veterans, our regular signature series? They did say that the best player overall fantasy stats wise is gonna get a limited card. Now, is that going to be the Lamar Jackson card? They haven't said yet. So I don't think that one's going to be limited. Didn't have the limited seal on that when they dropped the leak yesterday. So Hollywood Brown might get that limited card. That would be weird if it's a rookie premier card. That would just be weird. That would be awesome for us. But it could also be like Sammy Watkins. I know Austin Eckler had a crazy day. Christian McCaffrey had a crazy day on fantasy. So one of those guys is going to get the top overall card. And it's going to be a limited time. So be on the lookout for that as well. The defensive side of the ball, we talked about that a little bit, so there's no telling who it could be. Hopefully, someone, uh, CJ Mosley would be nice. I keep saying that because it's going to help my team. But uh, free safety would be great. You know, it's any of these positions that we need right now, guys. A right end, a fast right end would also be great as well. So let me know your predictions down below, or if you're going to pick anybody up, if you're going to pick up Lamar, holler at me down below. I'd like to hear and let me know how it goes for you. So as far as what you guys should be doing this week, I, I'm not sure. I've not heard anything about a house rules yet. So there will probably be a house rule. Actually, someone said there wasn't going to be one, but it hasn't been confirmed. So if there's not a house rules, make sure you're doing your solo battles. Make sure you're taking care of the solos for team of the week. And make sure that you're not wasting your coins if you don't have to. That's the best advice I can give in the game right now, guys, is hold on to your coins. We know the ultimate kickoff promo is probably coming this week. So you're going to want, there's going to be a ton of new players in the game this week, guys. So you don't want to go jump in and spend money up on, on little plus ones when you can really upgrade and, and, and you know, positively impact your team 
was one of someone with a plus two or a plus three overall. So again, guys, patience is the word of the year. Don't go ripping packs. Don't go chasing anything that you don't need or want. So I want to know what's going to be coming next after this. We're going to get Mutt Heroes this year, but I think Mutt Heroes came mid September last year. So are Mutt Heroes going to come at the end of the month, or are we just going to are we just wasting time for this ultimate kickoff all the way up into the most feared? So I don't know, guys. We have a lot of cards in the game right now, though, so make sure that you guys are saving those coins for the ones that you need. Now, uh, Weekend League, we did finish with 13 wins, if you guys didn't notice or, or be on my stream the other night. Thank you again, Popular Stranger. But I got 13 wins, so the rewards will be coming tomorrow. As I've been telling some of my followers and some people I talk to a lot in this game, I have just been saving. all of. I'm going to be saving all my packs. Unless there's a limited time that I really need, like I opened them for Vic just because he was 3 million coins. And if I pulled him, I was going to get 3 million coins. But I'm not going to be opening my coins just for these chasing these regular old limited cards. So I think it's going to be a great thing to do to see if we can go out there and get some of these limited cards, guys. I mean, I mean, save your, your, your packs until we can get limited cards. So don't be ripping packs open just to be ripping them open if you don't need the coins, guys. I've also been saving up all of my, if you can see here really quick. From the littlest to the biggest, I've been saving all. Oh man, I just passed it. I've been saving up all my quick sells, basically anything that's got a quick sell on it. I've been saving, guys. You can guys go all the way down. I've been saving all my quick sells. This is a great way to save coins, guys. A great way to save coins. If you don't need the coins, act like you don't got them. Work the market. Oh, I just sold Jerry Rice. That's cool. That, that gives me another. So work the market and use that as your coin making method and just use the savings account for a rainy day if a player comes by that you really need or some, something comes by that you really need. You have those not up there in the top corner over there. You know you're going to spend it if you see it up there. Leave these quick sales in your binder. It's the best way to save millions of coins. I know the title said that, but now you know how to save millions of coins. So do that, guys. I appreciate all the support. Not going to be too long today. Holla that mad dad. We're going to be streaming again this next coming weekend, hopefully with a better chair so my neck don't hurt. I appreciate all the support, all the follows. Mad Dad really appreciates y'all. Have a great Tuesday, and I hope your week is going well. Mad Dad is...